Yes, sir. 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 Y
great things you need to be standing on your feet amen with a yes yes lord i say with a yes yes lord Praise the Lord. I read the entirety of the 100 Division of Sons. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on and put those hands together. Hallelujah. Come on all over the building. Put those hands together and open up your mouth and give God a praise in this house. Come on. Come on. Come on, Zion. Come on. Come on. What did you come to this convention to do? Open up your mouth and give God glory. Open up your mouth and shabbat the Lord. Hallelujah. We've come to call on the name of Jesus. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Somebody call on the name tonight. Somebody call on the name tonight. 
Jesus. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let it well up out of the depths of your soul and open up your mouth and call the name of Jesus. 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 I heal a Jesus. I deliver a Jesus. For there's no other name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved. But it is at the name of Jesus that every knee shall bow. It's at the name of Jesus that every tongue shall confess. Hallelujah. 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 Why don't you just take a few minutes to fill this room with worship and praise? Hallelujah. What will you render to him tonight? Did you come to this convention only asking for things? Or did you come with an offering of praise? Come on, come on. This is the time to give it to him. Open up your mouth. And from the depths of your soul, worship the name of the Lord. We're going to lift it up together tonight, this simple chorus of worship. It says this, call the name of Jesus, he is our Savior, call the name of Jesus. He is our provider. Call the name of Jesus. He is our protector. Call the name of Jesus. He is our deliverer. Oh, oh. That's it. Say it with me. Say it. Back to the top. Call, call the name of Jesus. He is our Savior. Call the name of Jesus. He is our provider. Call the name of Jesus. our protector call the name of Jesus he is our deliverer we say oh
my Savior. Won't you call the name of Jesus? He is our provider. Say, call the name of Jesus. He is our protector. Yes, he is. So call the name.
Cause he's our heal. He's provide. And he's our master. And our savior. And our ruler. And our redeemer. And there's nobody greater. And there's nobody like him. And there's nobody more powerful. And there's no God beside him. So call the name. So call the name. If you need more love, just call the name. If you need more power, just call the name. If you need more strength, just call the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody had an encounter with that name. Somebody know about the name of Jesus. Have you ever been in a situation where you couldn't figure it out? It was beyond what your mind could comprehend. And you called on the name of Jesus. And instantly, he gave you a solution. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the big things. I'm talking about the little things. Lord, I can't find my keys. Jesus. Lord, I'm going to be late and I can't find my shoe. Jesus. God, I got to get on the road and I need my glasses. Jesus! Oh! There's power in the name. I'm trying to let it go, but I can't. There's power in the name of Jesus. I tell you, we only got one assignment this week. And that's to lift up the name of Jesus. Because he said, if I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, I'll draw men right here. Everybody just open up your mouth and call the name. Call the name, call the name, call the name. That's it. Make your own melody tonight. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Come on, make your own melody tonight. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, 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 come on, Zion, call it. Yeah, 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 come on. Come on, lift up your sound from the earth tonight. Lift up your sound from the earth tonight. God came to hear what you had to say in worship. Oh, 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 Jesus. We honor you tonight. 
with the fruit of our lips and the matters of our heart we bring to you this sacrifice of praise oh yeah 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 jesus 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 i wish i had some prayer women that could call his name tonight jesus i wish i had some first ladies and ministers wives that knew how to call his name tonight jesus i wish i had a few pastors that could help me call the name of jesus 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 That's it, lift it up louder, lift it up louder, lift it up louder. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Lift up your hands, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty and battle. Lift up your heads. 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 On ye gates. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Who is this King of glory? Who is this King of glory? Who is the King of Glory? The Lord of Hosts, the Great I Am, El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sikhanu. Lift up your hands. And the King is coming. You lift up your hands. And the King is coming. Lift them up, lift them up. Lift them up, lift them up. Who is the King of glory? His name is Jesus. The everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. Alpha. Omega. Jesus. This is a beautiful sound. Come on. It's a beautiful sound. This is what he loved to hear. He loved to hear the saints worshiping and adoring him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to our God. Hallelujah to the one who sits on the throne the lamb that was slain hallelujah to the god who is one of a kind ain't nobody like him hallelujah ain't nobody compared to him hallelujah
Jesus, let all heaven and earth proclaim that kings and kingdoms will all pass away. That kings and kingdoms will long pass away. That make your problem seem so small. Because kings and kingdoms shall all pass away. But there's something about that name oh Jesus there's something about that name something about the name Jesus something about the name Jesus it is the sweetest name I know. And oh, how I love the name Jesus. Anybody love it? Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest. and put those hands together and worship and magnify the sweetest name on earth there is a name I'm sorry y'all I love to hear I love to sing it's worth oh it sounds like music in my ear the sweetest name on earth y'all help me sing the chorus oh how I oh Sing it. Say, oh, 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 how I love together and give God a praise real quick real quick we're gonna sing and move we're gonna sing this next song but I want you to get up and get out of your seat and go find somebody and connect with them real good come on get up get up get up we we in praise and worship and go find somebody and just testify and say I love to call the name of Jesus oh y'all didn't move out your seat you talk to your neighbor that was sitting next to you Go find somebody, look for somebody that you might not know that good and say, I love to call the name of Jesus. Why? Because the name of the Lord is to be glorified. The name of the Lord is to be magnified. He's wonderful. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Anybody love to call him? Anybody love to call him? We're going to sing this song and get out of your way. It simply says, I love to. 
to call him right here. Everybody clap those hands. Everybody clap those hands. It's real simple. When you get it, catch on, jump in. Glorify the name. Father, Prince of Peace, 
called Jesus. 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 If you need healing, let's call on Jesus. If you need more power, let's call on Jesus. 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 We're down here waiting on a move from you. And we don't move until you come through. Say Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. 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 Call on Jesus. Call on Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Everybody clap, y'all. Y'all said y'all like to call it, right? Let's go one more round. Ah, Jesus, 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 Jesus. More I call it, the better I feel. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I feel there's power. I get there's strength. I am in power. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Everybody clap your hands. Jesus. together and give Jesus a praise. Come on, everybody. Put them together and praise him. What is his name? Come on, lift your hands and just look up to the Lord and let him know how much you appreciate him, how much you thank him. Come on, talk to him real quick. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Look up to him and say, Lord, I love you tonight. Thank you for the power in your name. Thank you for the presence of your name. Come on, lift him up. You're to be exalted. You're to be glorified. You're to be magnified. Lord, I want my praise and worship to be for real. I don't want to be an entertainer, an entertaining prayer warrior, entertaining choir, entertaining praise and worship. I want my worship to be for real. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. And lift your hands to Jesus and talk to him. Hallelujah. Let him know that you thank him for saving you. Let him know that you thank him for delivering you. All over the building, put your hands up and give God glory. And magnify him. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. We've got, could you hear me that program? We've got quite a bit to do tomorrow and quite a bit to do tonight. We have a wonderful, powerful preacher who's preaching tonight, our presiding bishop. Now, I want you to do something with me tomorrow. 
The prayer service starts at 6 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m., and it goes to 7. Now, choir, you all are sounding so wonderful. Praying women, praying so wonderfully. And I want to see some choir members in prayer, preachers in prayer. Praise without prayer is performance. And prayer without prayer is performance. You can't have a open praise life and don't have a private prayer life. So when I look up in the morning, I want to see you all. I said this and I'll say it again publicly. And I say this to the choir because there's a lot of time when I go back and I observe and look at the choir, I see a lot of feminine ways. I don't want to see any femininity in this choir. I'll sit you down. I want to see men looking like men and women looking like women. Homosexuality and feminacy both are wrong. It's wrong to be a sissy and it's wrong to have feminine ways. So when I look at a choir, I want it to look like a choir and I want to tell the difference between a man and a woman. I want you up here twisting and shaking like a woman. Amen. I want that straight from the very beginning. And I meant what I said, and I don't take it back. Amen. We represent holiness, and I want it to be seen through the whole service. So I help you to be conscious of it, because if you know you're conscious of it, then it'll hit your mind. Say, all right, you remember what Pastor said? Praying ladies, I ask you, please, because I need y'all to look more than just looking good. We got an assignment this week. We got an assignment. Don't let the devil come in in confusion. Don't let him come in in division. Let's be here looking for God to do something. At 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning, I'll be here with you. Everybody that don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, meet me at 6 o'clock in the morning. And we're going to pray with you at 6 o'clock in the morning from 6 to 7. Before I get started, I need 50 people in prayer in the morning at 6 o'clock. Let's start standing. I need 50. I need, some, I need 50 people in prayer in the morning. 50. Pastors, you need to pray too. Amen. Let me get more pastors. Let me see some more pastors. Amen. That ain't 50. I need 50. Is the secretaries here tonight? Y'all get a count. Come, come give me a count and make sure I got 50 people. That's what the Lord put in my heart. 50 people praying in the morning. I'll be teaching uh, from 6.30 to 7. We'll pray from 6 to 6.30. And from 6.30 to 7, I'll be teaching. I want to make sure I have at least 50. Amen. Let's get a count. Amen. We're here for the long run, right? Amen. Amen. And I look, I look back about like 50, huh? And let's see, how many you got so far? Why don't I have no more pastors? I need some more pastors. Amen. Let me see some more pastors. Now, y'all don't wave your hand, don't show up now. I'm coming for you. I'll give you a wake-up call. Let me see how many pastors. I need some pastors. I need y'all out here laying out with me. Because we need this meeting to be successful. And only prayer going to make a good meeting. Amen. All right. Choir members, you may be seated. Choir members, I want to see you. Uh, we need 50. And we'll be here praying and seeking the Lord and on our face before the Lord for this meeting. Because we don't want to just come and have a good time. We want to be effective. And the only way we can be effective is by prayer. So 6 o'clock in the morning until 7, we'll be praying. I'd like to also announce breakfast begins at 7 o'clock. Now, elders, I want y'all to help me because when I came in today, I seen a lot of young people out the door. We're not coming to hang out the door. There's a whole lot of stuff happening out the door. Pastors, you make sure your young people from your local church is in the church 
and parents, you make sure they're in the church. And uh, I'm here, so I want you ministers here locally, uh, uh, Ella Tylex and a few more of them, y'all make sure the young people from our local church are in here, inside of service, amen, at when service is going on. They don't need to be hanging around and lingering out the door. It's church time, and everybody needs to be at church, so I'm asking all of you all to make sure uh, that they are in church. Security people, make sure that they're in service. Amen? Are y'all with me, saints? Amen. Come on, you with me? Because that's what we come from. Seven o'clock breakfast stars, and breakfast is from seven o'clock to 8.30. Is that right? Is that correct? Seven o'clock to 8.30? What is the schedule for breakfast? Is it on program here? Seven o'clock to 8.30, what is it? Seven to eight. And then our first school class started what time? School starts at eight. So if you're a minister school, your class starts at eight o'clock. Uh, when you come, Sister Elysia will be here and she will tell you where you are supposed to go. We have a map that shows you where everything is, is gonna be held tomorrow. So eight o'clock, we got minister's class, uh, and then we have other classes going on as, as well. The schedule will be provided for you. Minister school start at eight, and but the breakfast is from seven to 8.30. So ministers, you come and uh, get a quick breakfast and you need to be in class by eight, amen? All right, you got an hour from seven to eight. Uh, and then we have all of the classes that's going on. If you need to know, Elysia, would you please come? Is she around? Where's she at? This is Elysia. And you come too. All of the secretaries come. If you guys need to know where the class is going to be, these young ladies who have worked so hard with the team, they'll tell you where you need to go and where you need to be. Let's give them a hand. So you're seeing of those, they ought to be able to help you. And then uh, uh, please get, get, a, get a good look at their faces so you'll know who you need to go to in the morning. Teachers, please be on time. Pastors, please be on time for the classes that we're having. Amen? Can we say praise the Lord? Let's put our hand together and give God a praise. Amen. Uh, I think that covers most of the announcements. The young people will be at the old church, and they ought to be scheduled. So this, this is the first uh, night. Uh, tomorrow is the first day session. So, you know, we got a little kinks to get out and everything, but everybody make sure you're there, and uh, we'll make those things happen. Amen. And again, we honor the Lord for, amen, Bishop Palmer being with us. Amen. We're thanking God for him. Amen. And uh, I want you to continue to pray that the Lord will bless the meeting throughout the meeting and that souls will be delivered. How many of you all come looking for something from the Lord? Come on, if you really got an expectation, wave your hands and just tell God thank you. Raise them up and say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to receive our offering and I want everybody to give liberal. Uh, we fell a little bit a little bit short of our goal today, so I'm asking everybody to make sure that you make the sacrifice and giving. The Bible says, "Give and it shall be what given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, running over with men given to your bosom." I beg you not to let don't come to the meeting and stay home and watch television. Don't come to the meeting and go shopping. We came here for something from the Lord. So everybody ought to be here in the morning. Amen. How many of you are here for the long run? You're here to get something from the Lord. Amen. How many of you are here to get something from the Lord? The Lord spoke to me and told us he's going to meet us in this meeting. And God's going to meet us and visit us in these morning prayers. So come where you can lay out before the Lord. Come where you can lay out on your face. This kind goes not out by what? Prayer and fast. And if you want a good meeting, you got to get on your face and get down and seek the Lord. Amen? Come on, let's give the Lord a praise, everybody. 
Amen. Come on, let's give him another praise. Come on, let the church give God glory. Praise him tonight. Come on, praise him tonight. Everybody give him praise because he's God. Give him praise because he's the king of kings. Give him praise because he's the Lord of lords. Tomorrow morning, I will be teaching uh, my classes tomorrow. I'll be starting with the music department in a workshop at 8 o'clock. And I'm teaching uh, a very important class. And I'm asking all of you all that's in the praise and worship to meet me on time. We'll be in the pavilion. I'll be teaching. And not only am I going to be teaching, but I'm going to be praying for you as we're there. Praying that the Lord will place his spirit on you and bless us throughout the duration of this meeting. Amen. Everyone, I'm going to ask as many as can to give an offering of $50 with us tonight. Could you give me my wallet, please? Amen. So let's all stand with an offering in our hand, all of the saints of God. Let's stand, everybody in the building, stand with an offering. Whatever you, if you don't give what I ask you to give, whatever you do have, stand to your feet. Get an offering right now. Put it in your hand. Get an offering and put it in your hand. And lift it up before the Lord. Now I'm asking as many as can to sacrifice and give 50 with me. And if I was you, I would try to do the best I can. Amen. To give the best I can. Amen. All right. Lift it in the air. Whatever you're giving tonight, lift it in the air. Amen. And with a mind of expectation, lift those offerings in the air. Lord, we thank you and praise you. We thank you for these that are given. We pray that you bless the gift and the giver in the precious name of Jesus. God, multiply unto our seed and we give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Musicians, give us something. Amen. And uh, everyone who have an offering can come. And our ushers, please serve us here tonight. $50. Tell them I want to give 50 As many as can, give that special offering. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. God bless you. Yes. Sister Sherry, bless you. Sister Sherry, someone from the finance committee.
Amen. Come on, let's tell the Lord thank you. Let's tell the Lord thank you. Amen. At this time, we'll be blessed with another selection. Amen. And after that selection, the next voice you will hear tonight will be that of our presiding bishop of the Churches of God, the Bible Way. Amen. The Honorable Bishop Ira J. McLeod. Let's give God a hand praise. Amen. After the choir sings, amen, everyone ought to be on their feet. Amen. As our presiding bishop takes the podium on tonight with a word from the Lord into the hands of the choir.
Tell the Lord, thank you. Come on, let's worship him. Let's glorify him. 
He's worthy to be praised. Come on, let's worship him. A loving Savior, a wonderful God. He's been good to us. God been good to anybody. Come on, let's give him praise and, and honor and glory. He's been good to us. Look at somebody and tell them, I love the Lord. I am so grateful for my place in holiness. Thank God for this wonderful body of believers. Look at somebody and tell them, God put us together. Coming from all walks of life. We was talking today, none of the bishops, none of us come from the same background and we're different people but he put us together I wish I had a church that realized what you're a part of you're a part of something special Jesus had a desire and it's in St. John the 17th chapter and the 21st verse it was a concern because of the foreknowledge of God. He can took a look up ahead and see what's about to take place in the New Testament church. St. John 17 and 21 read. That they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee. That they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Jesus saw, you may be seated, that in the future you're going to have this diversity that's in the church. Especially the early church. The Jews and the Gentiles. Speaking different languages, coming from different customs and manners. But God was calling them together, just like he called us together. The Jews have their customs and manners and the process of life and the way they live. And they was accustomed to it, but now they are among the Gentiles. Some folks that they used to call dogs. I'm going to take meat from the master's table and give it to a dog. So the folks that they used to call dogs, now they're in fellowship with them. I wish I had a church don't mind giving them some praise. We all come from different walks of, the, of God, but we are one body. And I think we all heard a, a oneness of God like we never heard before in our life this morning. But you know what the Lord said? He said, now, in these last days, the only way that they're going to be able to see me, you got to follow peace and holiness with all men. Or no man will see the Lord. He said, so I'm going to bring you all together. We got to come together so they can see him. Well, I got to get along with you. You got to get along with me. I got to love you and you got to love me. I don't care what the difference is. God brought us together. But we got to learn how to glorify him and magnify him. So Jesus' concern was, he said, now, we heard it this morning. He said, now, Father, I want them to become one like me and you. I want them to become one like me and you. He said, because ain't nobody going to see me if they don't come together. If we don't come together, I want to, I want to tell you, we in all truth. He said, if we don't come together, ain't nobody going to see me. They change it over here. They change it over there. They say they're apostolic over here. They say they got it over here, and they change it. He said, but if you all don't come together, ain't nobody going to see me. He 
said, so I put you together. I raise you up from your differences. We ain't got time to be holding our little differences together. He said, now, I brought you all together so the world can see the true and the living God. And they're going to see him through you. God put us together. So Jesus was concerned. He said, the Lord, they can see me and you together. But can they see us together? Because now the, the vision of the world, when they see us, and we, 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 we all together in the convention, they see us together, and they say, something going on over there. But all they got to do is just stick their head in the door. If, 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 if a visitor just come and stick their head in the door, this morning they would have saw God. It's so on why? Because we all together. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. As a leader, I had to learn something early. And I'm talking to all the leaders. We have to bear one another's burdens in order to have a relationship with a person. I can't just preach to people just to preach to people. I got to have a relationship with the people that I'm preaching to. And the best way the leader can have the relationship with the people that he preaches to is you bear their burdens. They don't supposed to be bearing our burdens. We're supposed to be bearing their burdens. They come to us with all kind of issues and situations of life. And we're supposed to be the man of God that can lead them to God. We don't have the answers to everything. But we know somebody who do. And his name Jesus. If I could just get somebody to see this relationship, this relationship that God desired for all of us to be together, it don't matter where you came from. No matter what kind of life you came from. No matter if you came from the streets or from the college park, it don't matter where you came from. God put us together. <laughs> Educated people can't be looking down on people who don't have no education. I got a little bit of degree, but I don't really use it. It, it, it don't do for me. This do for me. This, my life. God put us together. This it. And no matter what I'm going through, the one thing I found out, if you want somebody to pray, it's these people. If you want somebody to reach God, I don't care what your situation is, a lot of times I've, I've been sick and I just send a message out, hey, tell them to pray for me. And they just come together and pray and, and things happen. I, I, I know it's not just because of my relationship with God, because I, 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 I go to the saints sometimes and say, just, just pray for me. And then you, you can look at people who really care. And when they really care, I know they're going to really talk to God. I have a scripture in Ephesians, the fourth chapter. And understand all of this diversity of people. Now, look how God described us in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, in the first verse. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit, in the bond of peace. There is one body. There is one body. Mm -hmm. And one spirit. 
even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is above all and through all and in you all. So now Paul was sharing us his approach to unity. His approach to unity, he said, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. He said, now this is going to help us keep the unity. But somebody got to be humble. Are you listening to me? I volunteer myself. I purpose you. I will be humble because I came to the conclusion this is all I got. I, I don't care what success is going in other parts of life. This is my life right here. Money, money don't matter. I don't want to be successful without God. I don't want to be wealthy without God. I don't want to be happy without God. in him we live and we have our being so what is God telling us he said now nah, I unhuman you you don't supposed to be a human being our being is in him so in order to do this you got to come out your human being We got to become this spiritual being. And we heard it so profoundly this morning. Oh, my goodness. So now God want to entwine us so the world can see him. It's your job. And look at the diversity. We got Africa. We got Cuba. We got Jamaica. We got Haiti. Do I have to say the United States? But in that, you got Florida, you got Alabama, you got Georgia, you got Mississippi, you got Tennessee, and if I keep on talking, we're going to have Chicago. So it don't matter what club you came from. I was riding up there in Chicago, and they was in the back seat talking about they used to be GDs and what, what's the other letter? BDs and GDs. They, in the, they was in the games. And I was just sitting right there listening. And they told me, well, well, you know, the GDs is, is this way, and the BDs is this way. And, and I want to tell y'all something. Jesus is this way. They was concerned. Right? You, you, you're going to go up there by the old block? I can go to the old block because I know the owner of the old block. I can go to 63rd and 64th. Are y'all listening to me? Why? The only reason I can go, because I'm walking up here with a unified group. And they can see Jesus through us. Are y'all listening to me? So he put us together. And at this particular moment in time, he put us together to have listening ears. Have listening ears and be able to come together and give him praise and honor and glory. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the faith. You got to fight for this. I can't be loving somebody else if I don't love you. I can't esteem all of these other people if I haven't embraced you. So I go around and give out little spigots of love. Just let people know, I love you. I, I went up to Elder Smith today. I guess he was wondering, what the world wrong with Bishop? 
I say, young man, you somebody special. You're a gift to Church of God the Bible. That's who you are. You're a blessed man of God. Why? Because I endeavor to keep the unity. So it's my job to give out some love. Because you know, chatter go around and say, Bishop, mean. Y'all don't hear me. So I go behind your back and show some love somewhere. I'll whisper behind your back and go, just go and show some love. Tell somebody God put us together. So there's one thing that we need to do. We need to realize who we are. We are the body of believers. And, and I haven't seen this nowhere. I'm just being honest with you. I haven't seen this nowhere. And I've been in this thing 38 years. I ain't seen nothing like this. I've been around some great men of God. But I ain't seen nothing like this. I ain't never seen no revelation of the scripture in my life. I thought I was apostolic strong. And when I heard this, my Holy Ghost just clicked. So this is it. Y'all hear me? But tonight, we want to show God who we are. I believe, because they're recording us, I believe the world can see us come together. He can see Church of God, the Bible, way come together tonight. Tell somebody, we're going to do this tonight. We're going to come together tonight. It's crackheads. It's cussers. Just about all, y'all. It's liars. It's everything. We finna come together. One thing we do, I want everybody to stand. Can you envision this? Can you envision us coming together and then somebody see God? Just because we unified together, they can see God. I want everybody to come down. Everybody. You come in as an individual right now, but when you come together, we're a body. Hallelujah. 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 I'll just ask one thing. Can we give him glory? Can we give him praise? Can we honor him? Somebody got to see God. Somebody got to see God. Come on, let's worship him. Let's, let's glorify him. Let's magnify him. I'm talking to people who still need God. I, I, I want to know, do you still need him? I know you spoke in tongues, but do you still need God? I still need you. Even now. Hold somebody's hand next to you. One body of believers. Now your responsibility, everybody around you, is your responsibility. Everybody in front of you, behind you, around you, not just the hand you hold in, that's your responsibility. I got to figure out how to love you. I got I to gotta figure out how can we come together endeavoring to be unified for life. Let me tell you something. 
This here is until death do us part. We together. Come on, let's worship him. Let's, let's glorify him. Let's, let's lift up his name. I'm still apostolic. Let's, let's give him glory. Let's, let's give him honor. Let's give him praise. I believe he's worthy. I believe he's worthy. Look where God brought you from. Somebody give him praise and somebody give him glory. Somebody give him honor. He's worthy. My God, your God, our God. You are the body of believers that I chose. I chose you. In these last days, I chose you. You represent my kingdom. I want them to see God. I want them to see God. I want them to see God. I want them to see God through you. I give you glory. Oh, God. Thank you for putting us together. Thank you for bringing us from far and near and putting us together. Hallelujah. I don't know if you really see the power of the message that our presiding bishop preached. Listen to what he said. Jesus is one, but he wants us to be one. We're talking, I, I thought about it, Bishop, as you was preaching, I wrote it down. We talked about the oneness of God, but what about the oneness of the church? And really, what he is saying, 
God want them to be one like we're one. I don't want it to be any difference. Just like there's no difference between the Father and the Son. One is flesh, one is spirit. Ought not be no difference in our dressing. Ought not be no difference in our teaching. He want us one. And we've come together this week to become one. To become one. We, we put out all of our differences. Put out what district you from. Put out who you are. And all of us have come here today to do exactly what you preach. We want to be one. Make us one. Make us one. Make our leaders one. Make our children one. Make our musicians one. Make our cooks one. Glory to God. Wouldn't we get the power of God if all of us left here unified? Even in your local church sometimes, there's so much a division. Oh, if you could become one. Why don't you hug two or two or three people on the way to seat? Say, make us one, Lord. Make us one. Make us one. Make us one. Make us one. The presiding bishop has laid out something here tonight. Make us one. Hug the saints. Make us one. Halabashada. Make us one. Make us one. Tonight, Hatas, Oba Shalabahata, Tada Mashalabahaya. We want to be a blessing to our bishop. Bishop McLeod has preached with such power. One. One. I hope y'all got it. I got it. I got it, Bishop. I got it. I got it. One. Everybody tonight, get out a special offering. Do we have an assignment for cleaning tonight? We have a cleaning assignment. Demons being cast down. Deliverance happening. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone, let's get an offering out. I'm going to ask that one of the elders, uh, the deacons, the deacons, the deacons come, amen, and receive our offering for our presiding bishop. Can we say praise the Lord? Let's put our hand together and give God praises. Come on, let's praise him. Everybody give him glory. Ella Singleton, come. Amen. Receive our offering. Can we give God praises tonight? Bring him a basket. Ushers. Amen. Everybody, let's get a good offering. 